kind of quickly took it from there. What, what changed at that point? What are you guys still trying to figure out in some of these moments where it's a tight game and the other team puts a run together late? At that point, it's just really getting stops at the end of the day. Uh, Keen, you know, no second chance points and all like that. But uh, you know, I'm no rest of credit. I don't mean, they hit, I uh, hit two or threes. Um, and that was, some of us could test it, some of us wide open, but still give them credit on um, it, it was making shots that night. So it's kind of hard to just, um, defend somebody that hit two or threes. Um, we just kind of tone them into the small things. We we're back at practice tomorrow. So we're going to look over film and get better and get ready for Michigan State on um, Sunday. Justice, what, how did you see the, the game change there at that point? Um, yeah, it's uh, like like Bruce said, man, um, it was stops at the end of the day. You know, they, they got in a little groove. And, um, yeah, they hit 12 threes, man. And, um, you know, those runs, you know, there's there's a, there's a point where we, we got to be able to fight back and, um, you know, prevent them, at, especially around this time of the year where our teams get run, go on runs late. So, I mean, we just have to continue to, to get better every day to, to work towards that. Does, does it feel a little bit like deja vu or does it like, do these losses all kind of feel the same or does, do, do you feel differently after this one than maybe after the one prior or the one before that? At, um, at the end of the day, it comes back to all the small things. I won't say like deja vu, but like just getting this feeling after the like game, after the game, after the game, like, like, like human nature, like you don't get frustrated. You don't get like, I'm tired of this, like to a point where until, until we figure out and do the small things, we will um, then until we figure out to do the small things, uh, nothing will get past us. So we gotta figure out what to do for small things, the key, key on things so we can uh, be successful at the end of the day. You guys were, I think, one of 14 from three point range, and I know that's not a shot you can just hit, but what what wasn't going on, going right from, from distance, and, and how big of an impact do you think that made on for well, um, I mean, it, made, it definitely made an impact. Uh, I feel like we never shot one, one, one for 14, right? From three the whole year, so it definitely um, it was an impact. But for us to still be in the game, it still says a lot. Um, uh, it's, just, it's just hard to just to beat somebody in 12 three to hit one three. I mean, still just do the math and just stuff like that. But we still able to be in the game at the end of the day. We still could have won. Um, it doesn't matter. I feel like we was all in the right positions. To win the game, but we didn't key on the small things all back to saying again. So until we figure out the small things, small things, um, we, we, then we'd we'll be all right. Are you aware in a game? I mean, obviously the, the threes aren't falling, but you're aware. Does it start to get in your head that you're not making threes, or is that something that on the court you're you're oblivious to how poorly it's going from the point range? Yeah, I don't think we're oblivious. You know, um, our team, we make, you know, we make shots. We have, have some team or some guys on the team that really can hit that, knock it down. But you know, uh, regardless of you know if we're hit or not, you know, we're gonna continue to, to shoot those, especially if they're open, especially if, if it's getting into the guys' hands and that make those shots. But we have to continue to to be able to uh, rely on our defense at the end of the day. You know, like like BT said, um, you know, we we're still in the game regardless of that. You know, even though that is that's, that's a big margin, one to twelve threes, man. That's, it's, it's going to be difficult to, uh, to beat teams like that. So, I mean, like, like you said, you got to give them their props for hitting those. But also, we were still in it. And, um, you know, Big Ten play, man, we've, we've seen this entire year how, how close uh, or how small that, that, that margin of error is. And, and again, it got us tonight. So I'm curious if you guys feel like you have clearly defined roles on your team. Because Bryce didn't start Sunday. Tonight he plays 12 of the first 35 minutes. It feels like we see Tanner end of the Indiana game, then we see him the first half of the next game. I'm just curious if you guys all feel like you have, at a point in the season where roles are usually clearly defined, if you feel like that applies to your rotations right now. Um, I think that, I think, you know, I think uh, HC, you know, I think Coach Hall going to put him in the game and, you know, play the players that he feels like is going to, uh, that he needs at the time, or, you know, obviously depending on how they're playing. So, I mean, that's a question for him. But regardless of who's on the floor, you know, those five guys, you know, they have to be able to play together well. We all know our strengths and weaknesses, and uh, we, we, we know how to flow. So, I mean, we just have to, have to be ready when, you, when your name is called and have to be able to, to be productive, man, and, and, play, and be able to play hard and show that effort. You guys have uh, <clears throat> relied on Bryce quite a bit this season, and uh, we haven't heard from Coach yet. Don't know if anything was discussed on the broadcast or anywhere else, but 
did you guys go into this game knowing he was limited? Has he been sick? I mean, what, what, what gives? I guess. Um, I mean, he uh, he's human like everybody else. Um, uh, he, of course, you, you don't have nice way you on, and nice way off. But at the end of the day, we know what Bryce is capable of doing every single night. Um, uh, he's a tough sh a shot maker, and he he showed. I feel like he showed the world like what he's capable of doing. So this this really sh uh, don't show him show who he really is. Uh, he gonna keep fighting through it, then. And his time will come again. Cause I know how much work he put in. We all see how much work he put in. So these games, I feel like they're going to go by and he's going to figure it out. You guys mentioned the little things and how, you know, sometimes it just comes down to this in, in these kinds of games. It feels like some games you do some of those little things well, and then there's some other things that, that come up that you guys don't do so well. How frustrating is that to sometimes improve in one category, whether it's rebounds or assists, and then the next game, it's something else. Um, I guess certain justice, like, does it feel like it's not all coming together? And there's sometimes pieces that are, and pieces that are. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for myself, I feel like uh, our team been able to make strides in a lot of areas that we were struggling with a couple weeks ago. But um, still, you know, in these, these tight games, you know, when they're a couple possessions away, um, they, the team is able to go on that little run that kind of puts them over edge on us. So I think um, just just dealing with those those. Uh, you know, kind of those inconsistencies and stuff, obviously. But the important thing is that, that I feel like that I feel like BT feels the same is that you know we make strides in this. You know, we work on this every day, and we're going to continue to do it until you know until we uh, we catch the we catch the, uh, the flow of this thing. But but yeah, man, it's I mean, yeah, it's, it's just a matter of us continuing to work on that stuff every day, man. Be inconsistent in that, at least. Finish up with that, coach. Um, Chris Collins was in here and saying in the last like ten minutes when. The little runs that you're talking about, he said it, it takes guys that have courage, toughness, and togetherness in late game minutes. And I wonder how you guys feel about yourselves in those categories when it comes to those those tough situations. Um, I feel like um, I feel like we was right there. Um, the difference was like uh, the big shots they hit, um, they put them up like nine instead of keeping them at six. So. This little, that's a little small different on um, me and I at the end of the game. Um, Cause we had two opportunities in the game with Bryce Hume and Steele and my um, Tibba in the play. Um, we still had the opportunity at the end of the day. So, you know, last two minutes of the game is really important, but also the first 30 is important as well. So all that put together, you have to um, come together as one and no question just a better team today. Justice for you, um, you seem to attack with a little bit um, more success, I guess, consistently than some of the more recent games. It seems like maybe you're getting into a little bit of the flow these last two. Are you seeing things differently? Are teams guarding you any differently? Or do you just feel like these last couple of games are a little bit better performances for you? Um, I think it's just it's just consistency in my in my work ethic that's it that's able to carry over, you know, and especially my teammates, you know, giving me that confidence, you know, helping me getting me in my positions to, to be able to be be productive and create. But um yeah, that's that's the only thing I can say that that's been a difference. You know, I mean, teams are gonna obviously you know they're gonna have their game plans for for each and every one of us, but it's just a matter of how we attack that. So I mean, you know, we wanted to be more aggressive today. I think we did a good job of that, but you know, once again, it's just some little defensive lapses and, and that little that little short span that ultimately, you know, it allowed them to, to take that that nine point lead that BT was talking about. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.